Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between JDG and T1 during the semifinals of Worlds 2023. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Started. We'll obviously find it out soon as soon as Kanavi game. figures it out, but the timing window might just be there. It's perfect for the setup. Three, six, now nine. they know! Total control of the lane, but just now sees Owner. Owner mounting up. On the way in, looking to lock him up and take him out. 369 still standing for now. Will he burn the flasher or just accept his fate? Trying instead to turn and burn on Zayas, get a little bit more health damage. Just accepts his fate. First blood for the side of T1. Knight and Kanavi not able to find the counter punch in mid lane. Level ones are Cinder Red. Easy level three top side counter gank. Or just pure gank there for owner. Meanwhile, Kanavi getting chased off his attempted counter jungle. Oh, Faker trying to make sure that Kanavi does not just get that camp for free. Now Owner's on his way, and Karia, he's trying to collapse. Karia coming through, magical journey through the wall, will just completely zone him off the camp. Defense complete, and now Kanavi is going to know he's got nothing to go back to in his own jungle, even gets stunned up here in mid lane by Karia. Game team fights, and actually have a quicker average game time because of it. Oh, and I would really, really like this from JDG, because you know T1 is going to try and aggressively stack dragons, but they won't have the opportunity. We do see Knight already here. Doesn't look like T1 is going to be able to contest this. Hey, he was going for the solo bolo, and he just gets the kill! What? That He's is... That is... Favored, but Zayas setting the expectation on its head, and 369 just too far behind, stepping far nice. too far forward. Yeah. Q1 uh, confirms the pullback on Infernal Chains, makes it easy. Yeah, just dash forward, hits the chain. He had the level six advantage. Gets the solo bolo. And contest here. No flash for Karia. Has to be a bit careful about how far forward he steps. Kanavi ready with the ultimate. Zayo's strong. Getting low. But opted for lethality. He's still relatively squishy, all things considered. Zayo's still stepping forward with the infernal chain. Looking for the lockup. Tempered fate now coming in. Isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line. And owner immediately with the follow up engage. Zayo's still standing. Now finally the buy is going in, but it might just be too little, too late. Knight. Oh, Fancy oh, feet to the back of the fight. Oh, Zayo's ticking, burning, but the shutdown is 369. But now they're just fish. Caught in the barrel, waiting on the slaughter of the curtain call. T1 stepping in and dominating the Herald fight. They force all of their flashes over the back of the pit and then still chase down two of the kills. That is... Zeus, no boots yet. No oh magic gosh. mantle. Working steadily towards what we assume will be a dusk blade here as he backs away. Maybe suspects the play from Kanavi. Charge forward, lock up, ulti used in the previous fight. 369 still burning him down. Zayo's running for the hills, the rumble, Boom. and the buy. Get it done on the... Graciously, being willing to lose something here or there, so when they hit two items, they can find the perfect angle for a fight, something they are so incredibly good at doing. That said, T1 taking control for so much of this early game, almost 2K JP. in their favor. They're not willing Dragon. to give up this Drake for free. Owner into the pit, and he will steal it right out of Kanavi's hands. Curtain call over the wall, there is nowhere for that buy to go. Guma now on a killing spree, missing running for his life. Locked up into the wall. Equalizer used just to keep the support alive. Just come in. Yoink, thank you so much for the dragon. Owner steals it away, and they also get Owner. the... Owner! Never mind, Owner. he gets a freebie back. Staying a bit too long. Stun now coming through. 369, careful not to overheat too quickly. Continuing to walk forward, making sure now he has the flames better to try to bring it back. Shockwave there. Carry not quite able to connect. Maybe they have the damage. Faker's gonna be in trouble missing now. Pushing him back. Trying to sacrifice. Oh. 369 burns down to the ignite of Carry. Missing, killed as well in every play that looks like it favors JDG just turns in the favor of pretty damn good about Kobe. And it's about when you pick it, you know, like we said in Champ Select, there's no pure big tank on the enemy team. Temper fate there. A bunch of armor. Should be an easy fall up now. Carrier taking his time, waiting for the wall to try to line it up. He doesn't even need to! Zayas' damage is disgusting. And crucial there. Look at the timing on 369 flash. Just a couple of seconds later, and he would have been able to fly. I brush. Harold already utilized. Gonna create some pressure, gonna break open mid lane at the very least. T1 already pulling ahead in the play. If they can get the Drake as well, it's everything. Owner waiting in the darkness. JDG, this is such a tough angle to fight from. Continuing to stay around, continuing to stick around, willing to give up so many resources. The crash in mid lane already happened from the Herald. The tower slowly but surely crashing. Rather breaking down now as Dragon still aggroed here. Carrier playing on the edge. Ruler going through the portal. 
Feathers fly, but to little effect as JDG just have to run the pullback over the wall. Now they're just trying to isolate and take out Zayas. Big gold flux for the side of JDG. Can they take the fall and fight? Already the equalizer burn. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get up, but Owner will be denied. Owner cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter because T1 are there in time. Missing trying to fire back. Gumi Yushi out of ammo, desperately trying to reload, but here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight, the flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down, playing on the edge. As he steps, Baker's Baker coming! Bar. Baker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help. Has to play careful here. Knight, no ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lock up there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in. The pullback on the missing. Trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in, trying oh. to turn it back. Guma says not today. Guma puts it right between his eyes as Knight goes for the kill. But Faker did so much work in this. To Guma Yushi. And with JDG so far behind in so many positions, they might just not have enough damage to finish off these priority targets. Carrier going in. Lineup not quite there, but the captive audience now coming through. Missing, trying to back up. Shockwave pulling back just to kill the Alistair, but they get the tier two as well. The range on this composition, baby. Look at those picks for Tent, the last outer tower. The defense is here for JDG, crumbling. Carry a perfect predict on the Shuriken flip, means the lockup is there on a night. He goes into the shroud. Kanabi, ready to give his life to protect his mid laner. They're now going into the back line straight on Guma. Locked up with a temper fake, doesn't quite connect to the Jin, burns to the ground. JDG trying to hold on to hope, but here is Zayus. Here is the top laner right as they need him to crash down the pull back on the Infernal Chains. Ruler. Missing goes in, but he cannot find the edge. Ruler still stands, but he doesn't have the angle to attack. He doesn't have the angle into the fight. The Shroud will take Knight out to safety, and T1 stands so far ahead with the Jin that it might not matter. TP from the Akali, Knight in the area now, T1 maybe just gonna fish for the pick here. Already got one advantage. Tempered fade onto Kanavi is big, the lineup is there. Zayo's immediately gonna look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi now going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Big damage coming in for the Dark and Blade, missing on the backside, trying to buy some space. But the shockwave is clean, and in comes the curtain call. It is Zayo's wreaking havoc on all of JDG to finish the fight, T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. That's a clean eight. Immediately, T1 have something to say about it. From start to finish, they have been in the driver's seat from the creative pathing in the early game of owner to shut seconds. down. Three, six, nine. T1 have their eyes on the prize, and the prize alone, a spot in the finals, or at least one game closer. T1 showing up massive in this first game, missing, and Kanavi should not be enough. The Nexus. Lower and lower, T1, drawing first blood in this series. Well, These were some of the best highlights from the world's 2023 semifinals matchup between JDG and T1. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.